And now, your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Paul. Good evening, Zach Paul will be back with you for Live at 10. For today though, we were pretty cold across most of the area. We were only in the 20s and low 30s across most mid-Missouri. Columbia was 26, a little bit warmer in Jefferson City. They were 30 at the lake. They were 30 as well. Sedalia was 27, Rolla 28, and right at the freezing mark in Fort Leonard Wood. But that's a lot colder than we were yesterday. Around this time yesterday, we were 12 degrees warmer in Jefferson City, about 14 degrees warmer in Joplin, and even 20 degrees warmer down in Arkansas and Little Rock. So definitely a chilly day across the area. Right now, we're still hovering in the 20s. In Boonville, we are 25. Fulton is 27. A little bit cooler up to our northeast in Vandalia. They're 21. And a little bit warmer down in Max Creek. They're 31 at this time. Our wind chill is pretty cold out there, though. Feels like 8 in Kirksville, 13 in Columbia, 18 in Jefferson City, 17 in Rolla and 16 out in Sedalia, so a little bit chilly out there with those easterly winds. Columbia, we're 25, mostly cloudy. That precipitation has not yet started across the area, but should start later this evening. They're 28 in Jefferson City, mostly cloudy. And at the lake, we've got those clouds in there as well. It's 30 degrees and feels like 22 degrees with the wind chill. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. A lot of clouds across the Midwest. The frontal system is going to be making its way through the area tonight. A warm front will lift over the area, bringing us about, or about 10 degrees warmer than we were today. Here's what we can expect in the upper levels of the atmosphere for the next week or so. See, our temperatures are going to be somewhat warmer for tomorrow, but cool off for Saturday. We'll be back down into the upper 30s, but it'll be kind of a roller coaster of a week. We could see temperatures near 60 degrees towards the middle of next week, but after that, we're going to drop down back into the 30s by the mid to end of next week. See, there's the warm front bringing a lot of cloud cover that's going to bring us some precipitation tonight. I think it's going to be pretty scattered though, but we will see some icy patches on roads, especially bridges that have been untreated. So please be cautious tonight if you're going to be out driving. See, the cloud cover will last through the morning, but should break off by the afternoon. We're left with sunny skies. Our temperatures in the morning should be in the low 20s, so pretty chilly as that front rolls through. But as we clear out and sunshine comes out, we'll have temperatures in the low 40s. So pretty seasonable day for us, and the cold front will come through overnight, bringing us our temperatures down into the 30s for Saturday. So a little bit colder by the middle part of the weekend. Here's a seven day forecast for Columbia. Most of the precipitation should be out of the area by sunrise tomorrow. We'll be left behind with sunny skies for the day. Warmer temperatures than today will be 42 degrees for our high, but our overnight low will be pretty chilly again with clear skies, 18 degrees to start off our Saturday morning. 36 for our high on Saturday, sunny skies. And then for the middle part of next week to start off your work week, we're gonna have rain almost every day through Tuesday. But as you can see, our temperatures are going to warm up Quite a bit will be in the 50s for Monday, near 60 degrees on Tuesday, and then back down to the 40s for Wednesday. And we'll have sunny skies by Thursday, but colder temperatures as another system comes through. We'll be back into the 30s. Jefferson City, 43 and sunny for tomorrow. Sunny conditions continue into Saturday, but we'll cool off a little bit to 37. Then for Sunday, we'll warm up a little bit into the 40s. We'll have rain chances through Tuesday, and then towards the end of the week, we'll have temperatures back down into the 30s. The lake, Cooler for the first part of the weekend, and then temperatures will ramp up quite a bit. Rain chances through Tuesday, and we'll be back. It'll be kind of a roller coaster week for us again, which we have been seeing for the last week or so again. So there's stuff tonight, while we can't guarantee yeah. there will be cancellations, we might expect it's some. It's possible, so definitely be on, on your toes for that. All right, thanks.